The health-related physical fitness manual is going into its fifth edition. Um, it's, it's become a standard bearer for helping students particularly learn about assessments and practitioners. So we haven't really changed a lot of the key things. Uh, there's a, a bevy of different assessments and tests and measurements that have been used for a long time and will continue to be used for a long time. So those have remained. And I think new users will enjoy learning about those and returning users will be glad to know they don't have to change their practice substantially. There's a lot of changes. Uh, two of the most, arguably most important, are changing across all ACSM techs and that's the removal of the YMCA protocols and that's really a licensing issue with the YMCA and second to that is the pre-participation exercise screening. That's a, been a big dramatic change across ACSM text this year. So you'll see that highlighted and update, updated in the fifth edition so it will match the new 10th uh, edition of the guidelines. The other big change is the case studies. In the past, the case studies came at the end of the chapter and were a little bit generic, uh, but now the case studies are embedded throughout the chapter. So at key points in each chapter where there seems like a relevant point to pose a case study question, it's in there and it's in essence in real time so that the user can say, okay, here's how I can deal with that question. Here's a nice example of how that might work. Probably the target audience is the student, the exercise science student, but certainly the practitioner out in the field, the gym owner, the personal trainer is gonna benefit tremendously. Uh, again, this book is, is a great resource. It's a shorter, easy to read book, and it has lots of tables, diagrams, and step-by-step -step instructions. So anyone who's going to be doing baseline measurements on their clients or um, anyone who wants to measure changes over time, it's really the kind of resource that walks you through each and every, cons consistently walks you through each and every step of tests that have been around, that are solid. We certainly have some new tests in there, but it walks you through every step so that, I don't want to say it's foolproof, but it's, it's going to help you get the results you need to get.